What is going on guys? Sean here again, Fit Brother. This is another episode of Dragon Ball Z Tenkaichi Tag Team. Oh my fucking god, I love this game guys. Goku is back on Planet Namek. He's cooking up some Namek grass and we all gonna get motherfucking high. Okay, maybe he's not doing that. Right now he's saving the world. But okay, it's definitely a possibility in the future. We're definitely collecting some Namek grass, alright? Piccolo owes us for this shit. And Dende. And Super Kamiguru. And Nail. They all kind of owe us because we're saving their planet and stuff. Although, technically, in the end, we didn't save Namek. But we got them a new one. Like, we got new Namek grass. Sort of. Ah, well, let's go. Captain Ginyu appears. Oh, yeah. Last time, uh, Vegeta kept saying that how Goku has not reached Super Saiyan level as of yet. But Vegeta doesn't even know what that is. Captain Ginyu appears. God damn it. I wish I had a Dragon Ball in real life. I kind of want the one star. Goku landed on planet Namek to save Gohan and his friends. In the face of his overwhelming power, Raccoon and Burner of the Ginyu Force were easily beaten. Left with no other choice, Jace retreats back to Captain Ginyu and tells him of Goku's surprise appearance. This made Captain Ginyu decide to take matters into his own hands. Two power levels are coming here. One is Jace, definitely. Jace, the one you let it get, get away, and he's brought back Captain Ginyu. No matter how strong you are, you won't be able to handle this. Is that him? This is really bad, Goku! You guys use the Dragon Radar to find the Dragon Balls. I bet they just left them by their spaceship. I'll join up with you as soon as I defeat him. Alright, Krillin is just being like, he's definitely the, the support dude of the team, but the support dude of the team is always like the, like the best guy, because that's the guy who's going to get shit done. Vegeta, you take care of the other one. I'm sure after being restored from near death, your power level has definitely increased. Goku's calling you out on your uh, genetics, uh, Vegeta. You definitely should be strong as fuck now. Uh, you knew, huh? But this is where Vegeta pulls a dick move and completely abandons Goku. And then shit just goes down from there. Uh, do I want to beat up these guys? Oh, fuck. There's a lot of them. Okay, this is a Cyberman, the soldier. What the fuck? Okay, he just did like an energy blast. Oh, you want to do that shit? Uh oh. So. I thought Gohan had the blast thing, but they don't. That was weird. Okay, so Goku uses K.O. Ken to get away from his enemies. Jice, you've made a fool of us earlier, but now Captain Ginyu himself is going to punish you. I see. This is the po this is the one power level approximately five. power levels are bullshit by the by the end of this series. Power levels are bullshit. No one gives a shit anymore. That's right. Only five thousand. It's so strange. You fool. This is what happens when you rely only on your scouter's numbers. I bet he's raising his power level instantaneously. That's his style. It's gonna be one of the most interesting fights I've ever been in. I never thought I'd get the chance to show anyone my true power. All right, Vegeta, let's go. You wish you were never born. So long, Kakarot. Vegeta, got you. Wait, wait, I forget. What was Vegeta's, like, point to be made here? Why, wait, what was his goal? Why did he leave Goku when he needed backup? I mean, he has no reason to back Goku up. He is still a bad guy at this point, but why... Ah, uh, thank you for explaining, Goku. Oh man, yo, Jice and Birder right now are basically the only members of the Guinea Force left. They can be Team Rocket. Oh man, Goku is seriously overconfident here. Well, he has a right to be, because he's definitely going to win this fight if it was conventional fighting, but Goku pulled a mistake that, that Genkai told Yusuke and Yu Yu Hakusho. If you go into a fight or get trapped by an enemy without knowing anything, you're as good as dead. Because it's, you don't know anything. Your, your opponent could be like the weakest guy in the world, but then he has like the ultimate power or weapon at his disposal, and then you're going to lose, and you're going to die. Genkai taught Yusuke this lesson like very... Even though she taught him that, he still didn't fucking realize it. But 
he said that if I he knew about like um, the secret technique that uh, uh, someone used to beat him, he wouldn't have lost. And Genkai called him an idiot because like you really think your opponent's gonna give up that information? And this is this is this exact same thing. Goku does not realize that Captain Ginyu could have a trick up his sleeve, and uh, it's just this is how come he's gonna lose. So come here, Mihawk. Hey, how did you fucking dodge that? There, I kicked him. Wait, why didn't Jice come back with the sensor beam? No way! I, but I can't believe it. So this is your real power. No way to How can I say it? Oh, this is nothing. I can get much more power in an instant. What? Don't tell me. You're Super Saiyan. Super Saiyan. Legend, legendary warrior. Your no, no, Frieza is no more than a Super Saiyan. Wow, so they even know that Lord Frieza fears the Saiyans and all this shit? Or how the fuck do they know about Super Saiyan stuff? They keep calling um Saiyans a low like species monkey race and all this stuff, but as soon as the Super Saiyan pops up, oh suddenly we badasses, oh we all fuck you up, Ginyu. Oh you're taking us not seriously up until now. Just constantly keep punching you, punching, punch, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. Wait, what the fuck? How did Jice come back? Oh, I guess you can do the whole revive. He did the fu- Ginyu, you burning in hell now. You done fucked up, man. You used the- You used the move. You used the move I hate more than life itself. Yeah. Here we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Fuck him up. Jice, I don't give a shit right now what you're doing back there. Yeah, I swear to God, man. Give me a reason. I will backhand you, Jice. Come on. Just beat the shit out of Ginyu for using that stupid move. That's the dodging shit. There we go. All right, Jice, your turn. There we go. There we go. Come on. Oh, you thought you could block that? You thought you can block that? Fuck you! And I was gonna come in Han, but apparently I didn't have enough key. So where are you running, Jice? Where are you? Where are you going, buddy? Come on. Why are you trying to run away? Come on. We're having fun over here. We're having fun. It's all fun and games. Yeah, shithead. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Sorry guys, I really get very pissed off when someone does that move stuff, so I kind of go into homicidal maniac mode. Yeah. This is why people don't want to meet me in real life, because they know I could probably murder someone. I might. It sounds fun. Oh god, I just ended up on a watch list, didn't I? <laughs> I hate to tell you, but you cannot beat me. I don't want to get you guys into any needless fights, you should leave, just leave this planet. What? The Super Saiyan should be an ultimate warrior who revels in blood and battle. You're no Super Saiyan, you've not reached that level yet. But still, at the very least, you're much stronger than me. Your strength is unbelievable. What are you laughing about? Because you're strong. Because you have power that overwhelms my current power. Why would you laugh at that? I see Captain Ginyu is going to... Well, I like it, your body's strong. Like it? Ah, I switched bodies with the fool. Why does the voice acting just only stop after like just a couple, like literally one line later? God damn it. What happened? Why am I over here? I was, I just told you, we've exchanged bodies. I like the Xenoverse version where they twisted it up and our character was instead switched. That was way more hilarious. That's, all right, back to the spaceship. Ah, this new body's even faster. This is bad. If I don't know, Krillin and Gohan will be fooled. Wait. Don't leave me here. And they pretty much... Oh, okay. I thought the narrator was going to speak here. But they pretty much took out... They omit the part where uh, Ginyu, like, claws himself in his fucking, like... Is this... Is that his heart side or his other side? Well, technically, Ginyu might not have a heart, so... That, that's both symbolical and uh, true, like, biologically. So I'm not sure, but he did that and they pretty much took that out of the series of the video games because apparently it's too graphic for kids. I mean, come on, I turned out completely fine after seeing that. I mean, sometimes I twitch and sometimes I'm, I have homicidal maniac thoughts, but it's I'm normal for my age. It's just it's normal. All right. <laughs> Meanwhile, Krillin and Gohan use the Dragon Radar to find the Dragon Balls hidden away by Ginyu Force. They use the words needed to call forth Shenron, but for some reason Shenron does not appear. It was then that Jice and Captain Ginyu had obtained Goku's body through body change arrives. And that's because they don't speak Namekian because fucking Gohan, as much as he studies, he doesn't study other languages. God damn it.
Goku, ha, it's me Krillin. I was surprised for a second there. I thought you were Captain Ginyu. Wait, why? I didn't know you feed him and stole his head. Oh, that's why. Krillin's savage. So you're the one who found the Dragon Balls. How'd you find them? What are you talking about? I used the Dragon Radar, like always. And did you get your wish? Nah, we couldn't get Shenron to come out. I see, it didn't work. Goku, you seem a little strange. You're a little off. Do you want to know why? Oh, fuck. Ginyu, why you gotta sound so creepy? Huh? Uh, I like how Gohan gets that one line, and it's probably for the best. I would have raged at his fucking voice, but it's all right. He gets one line, and grab all the fruit and stuff. I'm I'm gonna have a whichever character I choose to like customize for when me and Paul battle. I'm gonna have it's gonna be fucking brawlic. Oh man, this is another lesson here. You see how Gohan is easily whooping Captain Ginyu's ass even though he's in Goku's body? It's because even though you have ultimate power, if you don't know how to use it, you fucking suck. That's why if any of you guys get superpowers like I keep waiting for, like something has to happen to me that I get superpowers or like if I work hard enough, maybe I'll get superpowers. I'm kind of hoping for like a light lightning powers or water powers, but that, like, besides the point. If you get powers, train. Because if you don't, you're fucking useless and you don't know how to use anything and then you're probably going to get someone killed. Well, technically, Sand Soul or Sand Spirit was one of the skills that we could give to characters over the years in all these games, so maybe he's actually right. Oh man, this is fucking awesome. And it's just like constant carnage up in his- Aw, oh, fuck, see? That's what makes this game even better because you have to constantly watch out for another person trying to kill you. And that's why Xenoverse was so damn good. All right, hang on, who- Giants, you going down. This way you die. Yeah. Try to running away. No, 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 circle, circle, circle. Oh, uh, we got- I always get to the halfway mark at least. You know, Jice is probably dead at this point, so. And there we go. Now it's just you, Ginyu. Oh, fuck. I, I'm i getting the effects of my super unyielding spirit thing. Okay, yeah, Krillin, you beat the shit out of him. I'll beat the shit out of him, too. <laughs> Damn, Krillin's going pretty ham there. There we go. There we go. Punch him right in the stomach. Yeah. Oh, fuck. How did he know I was going to hit him, like, at a downward angle? Oh, fuck. Come on, I want to do the like the combo rush thing with Krillin right now. Where you each everyone presses X at a certain time. Come on, Krillin. Yeah. There we go. Keep keep, keep it going, Krillin. Uh, Krillin, why are you not keeping it going? Masenko. Ha. Ah. I should have charged a little bit more. We probably would have killed him. What's my up and B attack? Oh, energy blast. Yeah. Uh, that was a very lackluster finish, but eh, it's okay. I couldn't power up because I'm still getting the effects of my um, attack thing, whatever, unyielding spear thing. And an A+, plus, even though I feel like I didn't do that good. Eh, that's, that's life. It's life. It's following, like, college all over again. <laughs> so you haven't finished them yet. Fool! It looks like Kakarot, and that's stopping you from attacking. Well, it looks like this is up to me. Out of the way! Oh man, oh wow, just constantly throwing into fight. Jace, how are you still alive? You should be dead by now. Gohan literally f did the job that Vegeta's about to do. All right, that's it, he's going down. There was no on the scouter. You're too dependent on scouts. Try fighting the people here, then you'll understand. Although that would result in your death. Hey, you be choked. Never be able to kill me. Did they just combo me? You're scared, aren't you? Scared of my newly increased power. I'm stronger than any Saiyan before. And my power is only getting greater. Actually, I just noticed that my increase in power is more than just natural talent. In other words, I seem to be getting closer and closer to becoming a Super Saiyan. Aw, oh, man. Vegeta, he... He's he says this stuff, but he's very very over. I, 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 there's a word for this. He's he's 
hopeful, I guess, but it's a different type of hope where he's expecting it. And it's not gonna happen. Remember, he's gonna be slamming his hands on the rock and then, I want it, I want it, I want it. Oh, shit! Oh, that is a legendary moment. What I wish for the day I could see Goku and Vegeta fight again. That is going to be the greatest moment. They kind of tried to do it in Super, where they did the purple version of Vegeta, but eh, it wasn't the same. We know it's not Vegeta, and it doesn't count. It's just got to go back to the time when they just loved to fight, and I hope that will be the most HD episode ever. Like, it's got to have Attack on Titan level graphics, because... Dragon Ball Super, we, I've already raged a lot about this because it, the graphics are not up to like the standards that it can go in today's day and age. I mean, One Punch Man has high, ha, has high quality graphics, Attack on Titan, yet Dragon Ball Super has below standards graphics sometimes. And so, they're actually catching up to it, but it's not up to the standards that I would expect such a series to have. But it's, a, it's at least the series is continuing. I can be grateful for that, that we have Dragon Ball Z back in our lives. Fucking Goku. Oh, he did the move! He did the move. Ginyu, you set your gravestone every single time doing this shit. God damn it, man. Now I gotta murder you, and then your house, and then your family cat, and then I gotta murder everything. Because I hate that move. There we go. So I'm setting his house on fire, and you know, I'm not gonna kill his cat. I'm just gonna set his cat free, because that's even worse. Knowing that his animal is out there in the wild having to defend for itself. Enough! Don't kill him, Vegeta! You're finished! Die! <laughs> no way! Shane! Yes! This is it! I can get back to my body if I can only make it in time! What? I'm out of my way! Oh, I was waiting for the, like the, because it, it starts off with the sound effects like, ah, ugh, like darn. I thought it was going to go into like the voice acting, but they just stop it for some reason. Ow, oh, I get back to normal. Goku, you know exactly, uh, Goku hit his head too many times. What was that light? This is my dad. Dad, you're back to your old body. I remember Gohan having the funniest like memory in his head where he pictures like Ginyu as his dad in Goku's clothes. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Oh man, a new character has appeared. But where the fuck is Jai and Barta? God damn it. Oh, okay, so now we defeated Ginyu. Ooh, the terrifying Ginyu Force. This is probably where we're gonna get Burter. I'm probably gonna do this one first before we go over here. I, I was just like getting the stuff behind done instead of having to leave it there. It's just because then when we go back to it, who want who would like go back to the Ginyu Force? We've already seen like Goldo die, Vegeta murdered Burter and Raccoon. Uh, Ginyu is now a frog, and we didn't even get to see Jice get murdered, so we deserve to see this, at least. Anyway, guys, this has been another episode of Dragon Ball Z Tenkaichi Tag Team. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please leave a like and a favorite, and as always, please uh, subscribe to my channel, Fatal Brotherhood. Please subscribe to Paul's channel, Super Saiyan Paul. Please subscribe to Alex's channel, uh, Unreal Entertainment Gaming. It really does help us a lot, guys, and you guys are so fucking awesome, because you constantly keep supporting us and keep watching our videos, and I thank you guys so much for that. And as always, you guys are fucking awesome, and I hope that you guys will always continue to keep watching us. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. I'm Sean Fibro. Brotherhood, and as always, stay gold. Peace.